Hello friends, welcome again to my mathematics class. In our lesson today, we shall be considering simple initial equations. That is, equations that have to do with indices, alright? So we will be solving these five questions we have here on the board. But before we go on in this lesson, you may need to go back to my previous video where I handled the laws of indices because we shall be making application of those laws of indices to solve these initial equations. Just check the link around this video you will see the link to the video I am talking about. So let's start with the first one. I have the cube root of 4 raised to the power 2x equal to 16. Then let's simplify. Look at 16. 16 can be reduced to its index form, whose base is 4, since I have 4 here. And then we can expand this cube root of 4 to become a power of 1 over 3. That is 4 raised to the power 2x raised to the power of 1 over 3. I've expanded the root as power of 1 over 3 because I have 3 here. This is equal to, 16 can be reduced to 4 raised to the power 2. 4 raised to the power 2 will give me 16. At this point, these two powers can multiply themselves. So I will have 4 raised to the power of 2x over 3 equal to 4 raised to the power of 2. And one of the laws of indices says that whenever you have two bases to be equal, then their powers are also equal. So I can equate the power 2x over 3 equal to 2. The powers have been equated. At this point, you can cross multiply to get the value of x. So I'll have 2x to be equal to 3 times 2 will give me 6. Then divide both sides by 2, which is the coefficient of x. We now divide there. I will have x to be equal to 3. So 3 is the value of x that satisfies this equation. You can, find, you can put 3 for x and simplify. You will get 16 here. Let's solve the second one. So how do we solve this question now? You may need to pay serious attention so that, uh, so that you do not miss any step. Let's start with 10. 10 can be reduced to 2 times 5. 2 times 5 will give us 10. Then put the power still outside. I want to make every function here a function of 2 and 5 since 4 can also be reduced to 2. If I succeed, then I'll be able to simplify the function. Times, bring down this one, 5 raised to the power 2x minus 2 times over here. 4 can be reduced to 2 raised to the power 2. All right? Bring down the original power equal to 1. So what next? Let's come over here. We can use this power to multiply the powers of 2 and 5. A particular law of indices says that that is why I've told you that you will need to go back to watch the laws of indices before coming to this equation. So let's expand. That means I'll have 2 raised to the power of x times 5 raised to the power of x times, bring down every other thing, I'll have 5 raised to the power of 2x minus, minus 2 times 2 raised to the power of, bring down this one, 2 into, let's open this bracket here. I'll have 2 times x will give me 2x, 2 times minus 1, give me minus 2 equal to 1. Then since I have 2 and these 2 to be equal basis, then I can add their powers. One of the laws of indices says that whenever you have two bases equal, add their powers and take one base. So I'll have 2 raised to the power of x plus 2x minus 1, adding this guy to this power. Then do same to 5. That means I'll have 5 raised to the power of x plus, add this guy to it, 2x minus 2. Sorry, this is minus 2. And this is equal to 1. Then let us add here. We are going to have 2 raised to the power of x plus 2x will give me 3x minus 2. Times 5 raised to the power of x plus 2 will give me 3x minus 2. This is equal to 1. Now, another law of, law of indices says that when you have multiplication of two bases and their powers are the same, then multiply the two bases and factor out the power. Two and five are multiplying with equal bases, with equal powers. So what you do is to multiply five and two and factor out their powers. Look at what I mean. This will give us two times five. The power goes outside. That is one power. 3x minus 2. I've factored out the power since they are same. And this is equal to 1. So write this thing as 10. I'll have 10 raised to the power of 3x minus 2 
equal to let me write this one as 10 raised to power 0 because any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So what I have here invariably is 1. At this point, the bases are equal. One of the laws of indices says that whenever you have your bases equal, equate the powers, the powers are equal. So I'll take the powers alone. 3x minus 2 equal to 0. At this point, we make x the subject of the formula. So first of all, so we cross the quality sign, I'll have positive 2. Then I'll divide both sides by 3, such that x will be equal to 2 over 3. Moving over to the third one. But before then, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and put the bell icon on, so that whenever I upload my useful materials, you'll be notified. Thank you so much. Then don't forget to share this video to your friends. So for the third one, we have... 5 raised to the power of 2x minus 4 minus 1 equal to 0. So simply, what I will do is to change this 1 into a base of 5 with a power of 0, since any number raised to the power of 0 is 1. So I will have 5 raised to the power of 2x minus 4 minus 5 raised to the power 0 equals 0. Any number to the power 0 is 1. So what I have here is still 1. At this point, carry 5 power 0 across the equality sign. So that will have 5 raised to the power 2x minus 4 equal to positive 5 power 0. Now the bases are equal, all right? Indices says equal bases guarantees equal power. So let's equate the powers equal to 0. Make x the subject of the formula. That means I'll have 2x equal to 4, taking 4 across the equality sign. So I'll now divide by 2. I will have x to be equal to um, 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. So the value of x for this function to give us 0 is 2. Let's solve the first one. I have 3 raised to the power of 3x minus 8 equal to 1 over 9 all raised to the power of 3x minus 1. To simplify this, I will reduce 9 to a base of 3 whose power is 2 because 3 power 2 will give me 9. So I'll have 3 raised to power 3 x minus 8 equal to over here I'll have 3 raised to power 2. Now anytime you have inverse 1 over 9 1 over any number it is written as inverse that is inverse inverse 9. Then to simplify it further I'll say 3 raised to power 2 times minus 1. 2 times minus 1 will give me what? Minus 2. So this 2 will now be what? Negative. Based on this principle. Bring down this one now. 3x minus 1. Then open the brackets completely here. We'll have 3 raised to power 3x minus 8 equal to minus 2 times 3x will give me minus 6x. Minus 2 times minus 1 will give me plus 2. Now that the bases are equal, Now that the bases are equal, I will equate power. So I'll have 3x minus 8 equal to minus 6x plus 2. Then collect like terms and make x the subject. 6 crosses over, we'll have 3x plus 6 by 6s equal to positive 2. 8 crosses over plus 8. Add here, we'll have 9 equal to add here, we have 10. So we are going to divide both sides by 9 to get the value of x. So 9 dividing here will give me one whole number, 1 over 9, a missed fraction. Don't leave your answer as improper fraction. And lastly, we have this to go. But I will leave it for you to solve it as your assignment. Drop your answer in the comment section after you have solved it. Follow the rules of, of indices and solve it. If you want to learn more on the rules or laws of indices, you may need to go back to my previous video. The video I dropped before this one, I'll put the link in this video so that you'll be um, grounded in the laws of indices. You will now apply it to understanding these things. Solve this and drop it in the comment section. Thanks for paying attention to the class. Meet you in my next video. In my next video, I'll be solving cases that have to do with simultaneous equations. You have two equations involving indices and you are asked to find it the same time. Solve the both of them at the same time, looking for two variables. That's what I'll be dropping in my next video. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.